Well, thanks for joining us in Nike Saw over there. Beautiful day outside, but it's even better day inside the studio right now. We have Definitely. Police Chief uh, Adam Jakes from Fort Bend Police Department in here with the newest addition, Benny, who is uh, a new uh, canine uh, Narcotics dog, correct? Correct. Um, he's two years old. He's a German, German short hair pointer. German short haired pointer. Um, talk to me a little bit. I mean, you've been traveling. You kind of been building this relationship, you know, with Benny the past few weeks, month or so. Um, how does he fit into the department at Fort Benton PD? Um, he's going to be great. I mean, he's we're a small agency, but um, our community is lucky to have a small police department. And even though we are a small agency in a small, safe town, we still have our big city problems, and Benny is a friendly dog, so he's going to be great for the community his support, but also he's a deterrent to keep these, unfortunately, with Montana seeing the increase in drugs and fentanyl and other things um, growing in the state. Um, Benny is a deterrent to hopefully keep that from out of our town, and he's going to be just one of us. He's got his own office. He's got everything he needs there, and he's one of us now. So you said that Benny is a narcotic dog, and there's only about 1,500 people in Fort Benton. Correct. Now, is there a high demand to crack down on drugs within that community, or, or can you go outside of that community as we well? We can go outside our community. Like I said, unfortunately, like I said, every community, whether how big or small, there's there's a problem. So we know that we have a little issue, and hopefully Benny will be able to address those issues. But he, you know, he's a resource to our sheriff's office, the Highway Patrol, um, Great Falls, anybody that needs Benny, whether it be for a, a narcotic sniff or a lost person, missing person for searches, which he can do as well. Um, he's open anywhere statewide will go. So yeah, we talked a little bit about how you're out in the Midwest and you were, you know, working on some training and things like that. Talk a little bit about that training and um, what it is that you, you both were kind of, you know, working on to, to kind of build that relationship, that working relationship. Oh, so initially, uh, Benny already went through this training and he was imprinted on a certain drugs that we wanted him to be imprinted on. Um, so for the three weeks I went there, I had to go and learn his, what his demeanor was, what a change of behavior was, learn and his action is, what is he trying to tell me? Um, obviously, he can't speak, so through body language now, but he said, I'm able to uh, know what he's trying to tell me, whether he's alerting on something or he's interested in something. So that was the main purpose. This was getting me to understand him. And, and how's it been like building a relationship with a new animal like this, especially one that's going to actually have to go in and work? Oh, he, he's great. I mean, like I said, he's super loving, and that's the hard part, is just trying to get that balance between work and he wants all the attention, so we got to get that balance going. Um, but like I said, he's super sweet, wants to love him, but he's very good at his job too, so um, we got very lucky with him. Is this specific breed always used for narcotics, or I mean, how did you get the specific breed? We went with this, I mean, any dog could be used for narcotics, I mean, whether it be the German Shepherds, um, the dual purpose dogs, um, but we wanted to, not that dogs are mean, but Benny's got the cute appearance. The community wasn't going to be intimidated by him when he comes out of the car. The kids are going to be able to do things with school with him. So we wanted that friendly appearance compared to the little more aggressive where people look and say, oh, I'm scared of the dog. We didn't want them to be afraid. He's supposed to be a part of our community. And uh, he, you see how his face is. He's perfect fit for it. Definitely. No, he's a sweet dog. We came in here, he's just right up to us. It is awesome. But um, what about, you know, boosting morale in, in the station? How many, how many officers do you have on staff? We have five total. Um, so, like I said, everyone gets to play with him, whether it be our city staff. He's only been, I mean, we've been town two days, but he runs around the office, goes into the girls in the front office, and gives them their attention. Um, so he's just, like I said, he's just playful. It's something new, and um, he's going to do great. But he, you're his main handler, I'm right? his main handler. Like, he lives with me, um, so he comes home with me. He stays with me. He's got his own office. He's got his own room in my house now. <laughs> so he's got everything he needs, but so we're together pretty much 24-7 now. All right. Best buds. Yeah, no, best buds. It's that man's best friend and police, police's best friend right now. But also, um, what about a schedule for him? I mean, is he working a nine to five or how are you paying him in treats? Just treats, know? well, he gets his treats. Um, we're, we're on call 24 seven. So whether it be our agency, the high patrol, if someone else needs us, as long as we're home, um, we'll respond out to anything that they need. Um, like I said, he's interacting with my family as well. And we have a dog, so he gets, he gets his playtime. Um, and then the work is whenever he feels like going, we get up and go. We had talked, Ryan has a dog at home himself, and he's been mad at him since he switched to the morning schedule, oh. so he's been... He's been uh, doing insane. his business on my furniture, <laughs> so I'm, I hope you don't have to go through that, but I definitely uh, have been dealing with that myself. But he's a puppy, and Augie's a puppy. He's a little younger than him, so... Um, but again, is he so he's fit really well in with the family? He's fitting really well with the family. Like I said, my kids love him. I've got two teenagers, and they, they give him 
all the attention he needs. And like I said, that's the hard part is getting that balance of work and home. Um, but he's been doing great. Uh, obviously, it's a new setting. He's like a toddler. It, what do you got in your mouth? What do you got in your mouth? Taking things away from him nonstop. <laughs> um, but, you know, he's a puppy and he's still learning all these new environments and smells. But he's obviously he's he's adjusting very well. And so his job's already started. He's already began working. His right? job's already to go. Just waiting on that first call, and we'll see how we, how it goes. But yeah, no, he's ready, and we'll do training at least two hours every other day to keep him up on what he's got to do. Awesome. Well, uh, you know, Chief, we really appreciate you making the trip from Fort Benton this morning. I know it's a early morning, but no, this has been awesome to have Benny in here. If you're in Fort Benton and you see him, be, be, beware, don't just go up and pet him. He is a working dog. Um, they do have to kind of crack down on, on that interaction. But no, he is very friendly. Um, I think he's going to be a great addition. We appreciate you coming no, in. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. Um, and, and again, this is something we want to start doing more often. So if you do have something you want to share, or even have a police dog you want to have come in, just give us an email. Uh, we'll gladly set it up. Adam was so kind. And Benny's so kind. He's, he's a star. Yeah. Right? yeah. Let's, so. take, let's take a quick look at that forecast really quick before right. we get you out the door.